Welcome back to another episode of Cindy's Kitchen. I'm Cindy. Hey. And this is my small kitchen here, as you guys can see. And behind the camera is Michael. Michael, say hi to everyone. I did. Yeah, me and Margaret were arguing a little bit this morning. But that's subject because we don't agree on certain things. But you know how it is. He's my son. I'm his mom. And he thinks he can boss me around. But he knows that a mama is the boss. That's how it is. That's know? right. But whatever. We're good now, right, Mike? That's right. So anyway, so with that, uh, uh, today I am going to be making some General Toast chicken. Can you please back up with that, Mike? I can't see. Like, the light is blinding me. Seriously. Any other uh, uh, YouTubers, cookers like me, the light, does it bother you in your eyes? Sometimes I'm blind. I see spots in my eyes. Okay. So General Toast chicken is the name of the day. It's the name of uh, what we're going to be making today. And uh, this is going to be a totally different uh, general toast chicken because we're going to be using eggs, we're going to be using flour, we're going to be using a little bit of cornstarch, and we're going to be using uh, chicken stock. So as you can see all the stuff that I have there, what I have here is uh, what the general toast chicken that I'm going to make is going to consist of, these are green onions. So I cut them already diagonally, and I took a bunch, and I cut them like that. I just want to show all my viewers, I'm going to tell you why. Because when I show you guys, oh, I have another pack. Look, this is what I'm talking about. They're like 25, 30 cents at the supermarket. Depends on where you go shopping, but they vary in price. So what I did, I took a whole bunch of that. I cut it. I took out the uh, the brown leaves that I had. I took uh, three cloves of garlic and I chop it very finely. And then I also need ginger, but since I don't have real ginger, you know, the duster will do. So said that, let's go over here. You're gonna need a bowl because I wanna make the sauce with you guys. So like I said, green onions, garlic, and ginger. And these are um, uh, hot chili peppers. So you usually put like one or two, in Chinese places they usually put one or two in the sauce because they gave it a kick to it. A lot of people like it, a lot of people don't. So that depends on it, whether you like it or not. Okay, so we're gonna do the sauce. So the sauce consists of soy sauce, of course. And uh, what does it say there, Michael? I can't see. Third of a cup. A third cup. So we're gonna put a third cup and like a little dropper that is there. Maybe we'll put a little bit more later. But for now, that's good. We also gonna need, okay, this is one third cup riced up to the top. One and a little bit, like, you can say like two third cups. You know what I'm saying? Because with the bump of sugar that we have, right, Mike? Yeah. Like two third cups of sugar. You can put um, as much sugar as you want, but you don't want to put that, that, that much. The uh, cornstarch, we're going to use it to thicken the sauce later on, okay? Now, this is um, uh, rice vinegar. You can use white vinegar if you don't have rice vinegar. But this uh, kind of like, it's a little bit more oriental. And we're going to put, uh, is that a quarter cup of rice vinegar? Yes. Yep. So we're going to put a quarter cup of rice vinegar right there. Just like that, and we put the sugar, and we put the soy sauce, and we're gonna come over here. You also gonna put like a box of chicken stock, but since I didn't have any chicken stock, I took chicken bouillons, put it in this bowl in the microwave, fill it with water, and here's my chicken stock. Okay, here we go. So that's gonna be our sauce, and uh, this is what we're gonna do with our sauce. We're gonna move it. All that is gonna be added up to this later on but for now what we're gonna do i'm gonna go over there and i'm gonna start getting ready let me taste that wow wow amazing really good so now this is done now we'll just head over here on this side of the kitchen and here we're gonna have the chicken that we're gonna be making for the uh, general toast chicken i took a pack of chicken as you all know and i cut a little square look how cute they came out right oh, yeah. it has no seasoning right now or anything okay so what we're gonna do here Hold on a second, I gotta um, take out the excess water. That's from the chicken being in, um, in the freezer, right? And then the frosting it, that is fine. So what we're gonna do with this, guys, I'm just putting a paper towel, you can do this. What I'm doing, I took a whole bunch of paper towel from my roll over there and just go like this, because the drier the meat is, the less excess water it has, guys the better your chicken is gonna taste, okay? So with that, let's go back over here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put th those three eggs in here, but before we do that, I wanna put a little bit of salt like this, 
and a little bit of pepper. Not a lot, guys. You know, you don't want to put a lot on this and a little bit more of salt. And then we're going to take uh, a spoon and we're going to move it like this. And now what we're doing is, is waiting for that to be really hot. And I'm going to put more oil, but I'm going to show you guys exactly what we're going to do. I'm gonna put oil in this. I'm gonna let you guys go because I need this to get hot. And as soon as it gets hot, we'll be right back. And you guys will see me out. Uh, I'm gonna take this chicken. I put these three eggs inside here. And then, but I have to wait until the oil is hot because after this is mixed with the egg and the flour, I gotta cook it like really fast. So don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to come right back for the continuance of this delicious general toast chicken directly from China. Thank you. Back. that's almost hot it's only been like one minute so okay you saw me put salt and pepper in here right let me lower this and so I'm gonna take the eggs I put the eggs because uh, we're gonna run so there you go is that two eggs Michael yeah. said three eggs it's a lot of meat you know so you want to like cover that you know the eggs are gonna make it like so so you go like this with your hand Hey guys, I don't want to use anything else. I wash my hands. I told you my could film me washing my hands, you know? Michael, I want you to back up, but I don't want you to get burned. I'm good, man. You know all that, right? So what I'm going to be doing, guys, we're going to be, see how I did this? Oh, yeah. So what I usually do is I'm going to put this amount here. I'm going to take some flour. Like that, you know they're gonna be sticky. Be careful when you're cooking. You do not want to burn yourself, people. Okay? Just be very careful how you drop these. You know. So we're gonna drop it now and lower the fire. So we're gonna be dropping this. Here we go. One, two. As soon as I drop them all, I'll put the fire up. It's on medium heat right now. Okay. So I don't want them to like go ahead and take over and burn. As you can see that they're starting, see? Michael, yes. I know, your hands, that's the only thing about this, your hands, you gotta be like washing them all the time. Right, Mike? Oh yeah. Because they get very sticky. This is because of the flour. And the egg. And the eggs. So you're gonna see how nice this is gonna be. And then I'm gonna go over there, I'm gonna wash my hands, I'm gonna let you guys go, and then uh, we'll make a thing. You'll see me turning this, and we'll come back when all the chicken is fried. So that's the basic of the chicken, you saw what I did? The eggs, you see how they are, battering eggs, the chicken. I'm gonna keep on putting flour, putting batches here with flour. You'll see me in between. And we'll come back when all the chicken is over there, ready to put that sauce on it and cook in onions and garlic and ginger. And uh, then we're gonna eat that delicious uh, General Toast chicken. We'll be right back. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Uh, it's supposed to look something like this, guys. And we'll be back when I'm done with all of that. The rest of it out, look how beautiful that looks, Michael. What do you think about that? Um, now, this is how you really make General Toast chicken. You know, I wish I can have at least one. Michael had one and he loved it. Didn't you, Mike? Delicious. Okay, we'll be back. Right, so, thanks for coming back. So, this is my scallions and my garlic, and I'm gonna put a little bit of sesame oil. This is what we're gonna cook today. So you see already how it's splitting? Oh yeah. I just put a little bit. Sesame oil is very, very strong. Okay? Oh, you only need a few drops. Can you smell that already, Mike? Oh yeah. Right? You only need a few drops. I love garlic. Just like that. And then with that, we're also, it tells you to put a little bit of canola oil or whatever oil that you have. But this is only a little bit because we have to uh, warm up that. And as soon as that browns a little bit, we're gonna put the sauce, remember our sauce that we made with the chicken bouillons and the soy sauce and the brown sugar that we mix it all here together, Mike? Oh yeah. And then we move it and the sugar exactly, we put all that there. So now this is what we're looking at. See that? Smell that, Mike? Oh yeah. You like that, huh? Oh yeah. Mike likes that pizza. Woo this is gonna be so nice. So anyway, right, so what do you guys think about all this? Right, Mike? That's right. Comment in the comment section down below. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. Where's my baby? Oh, there they are. Show everybody the babies. Yeah, that's how our babies are. That's what they like to do. And now, what are we going to do?
gonna do? Sauce. I'm gonna put this sauce. I'm gonna leave it on high. I'm gonna add it just like that. See? On ice it looks. Oh yeah. And now we're gonna let it like boil with bubbles. So as soon as the bubble comes up, we'll be right back. We're gonna put the meat in and we're gonna serve a dish of delicious General Toast Chicken so you guys can taste. Thanks for watching. As soon as it starts doing that, guys, what time is it? To put a little bit of cornstarch in there. So I took two tablespoons of my cornstarch. Remember, we haven't used it yet. So I put it in here, I put a little bit of cold water and I stir it like that. Let it get a little bit thick. Meanwhile, I'm gonna take a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit more. I'm even gonna use my hands. Look, I'm gonna use my fingers, like a little bit like this, you see? I'm gonna throw it twice, two little bits. That is like two tablespoons, guys, okay? Besides the one third cup that we put in, almost twice, we put two third cup, right, Mike? That's right. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow, that's starting to get real thick. And the last thing, guys, that I wanna do, I'm gonna put crushed pepper flakes because we wanna like have that spice taste to it too. That's right, spice so it up, spice it up. As much as you want, or as little as you want. It's up to you, nope, preference, to preference. You. Exactly. Let's see how that sauce is. You want me to thicken it up a little bit more? What do you think, yeah? Yeah, we can do that. Just a little bit more. So you put your cornstarch in there. Let's put the rest of it in there. There's only one tablespoon that I put there, people. So uh, as you can see, there we go. So as soon as it's sticking, I'm gonna put the chicken in. I'm gonna turn it, we're gonna serve it. So I'm just getting ready to serve this and put that delicious chicken in. Here you go. You see how that uh, thing is uh, is thicking it up? Look at the sauce, how it looks, you see? A little, a little bit more thick, right? Yeah. I like it like that. Let it Michael, thick, let don't it be it rushing up. me. Why are you rushing me, Mike? Okay, so let me put this in here, guys. So there goes the chicken. Wow, Michael. Look at this. Wow, that is gonna have a blast with this. This is my husband's, uh, one of his favorite dishes. General Toast Chicken, that's right. He loves his General Toast Chicken. And I love to make him his General Toast Chicken, right Mike? That's right. I love to cook this. Even if I can't eat it, I can smell it, and I can make them happy. Another day with my delicious food. So that is done, guys, I turn it off. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna serve a plate of General Toast Chicken for my husband. That looks really beautiful, doesn't it? So this is what your General Toast Chicken serve on a plate over white rice is gonna look like. This is the pot that we just finished making. Here it is, Michael. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it is delicious. Michael was stealing all my chicken threw it out, but I'm gonna cut this short because he didn't charge his battery enough so it's gonna be dying like very soon so don't forget to subscribe don't forget to follow us on instagram on twitter on facebook uh look at us on google plus and pinterest on a tumblr there you go i got it all right and with that guys i'm gonna let you guys go try to uh double this and make it for yourself ingredients in the like description it, down know. below everything is there love you all have a good day and let's not fight